What's up, everybody? You're back with the Chosen Con, uh, and today actually I have someone that I was uh, we were we were competitors, man. Yeah. Right. We uh, I used to guard him on the court, and he used to just like, man, he used to beat me down. He's a big guy, as you could tell. <laughs> I'm really skinny. So, but I'm going to Fit Nation now. Shout out to Fit Nation. <laughs> I'm going to Fit Nation now, so I can finally like kind of guard him. But yeah, what was it like today uh, coming on the show? It's really interesting. Yeah, like uh, we talked about before, I've, I've been more in the back end of stuff, yeah. right? We're making sure people show up and uh, all that stuff. So being on this side of it is really interesting. We've we've talked, you know, we've had some pretty interesting conversations uh, the last few months. So like to have that with like an, not necessarily an audience, but a camera or whatever, that's different. That's really cool. It is different, man. And you know what? When Before we, we even start the episode, it was like, we're going to talk about ball. Yeah. Right? That's what we're going to talk yeah. about. But we did not talk like we talked about ball. We kind of touched on it, yeah. right? But what do we really like? We talked about like your your upbringing. It's just a yeah. The 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 one word that sticks out was more the conflict, right? We you brought it up and it was really good. It was the conflict. It was that you know how do you balance out being from a foreign family that's immigrated here, but I'm born and raised here. So that conflict is the I didn't even, I wasn't even actually a parent of that until we talked about it today and me like, too oh, oh, cool that actually makes sense yeah it all adds up yeah. it's like you were telling me how your grandfather was a, a businessman yeah. what did your grandpa do he's uh, the best way to put it was an entrepreneur he he was like he managed an oil rig for a long time yeah. after that he he was part of the team that brought coca-cola into uh not canada into iran coca-cola to iran yeah i mean i, I we joked around it before but it's essentially just bringing diabetes into it's a country like, like you're not by people here, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's still cool though yeah right? and he did what he could and they they worked really hard and that um that like entrepreneurial vein is in our family yeah. in different ways my grandpa ran a newspaper company um all these different things things and you don't really become it's internal until we talk about it and you're the yeah. first person i've talked about this is the first audience i've talked about it with so like what, yeah you know like feeling a little vulnerable feeling a little bit uh like opened up a little bit but it's a good feeling because i've i've accepted all these things and i know that's who the I key. Am a bit, yeah yeah and then we also talked about your parents man <laughs> yeah right? Right. that was the biggest thing so this whole i guess this podcast the main theme was growing up with immigrant parents yeah what it was like, what it was like for them, man. Yes. Because a lot of times we love to make fun of their accents. Totally. Right? Yeah. But we never understand the sacrifices they made. Oh, my God. To yeah. leave. So I guess one thing we can talk about quickly in the video sure. is your mom and dad. So they ended up meeting. We, yeah. we talk about how they met. His yeah. dad was like, he hustled. He hustled. He made it work. Yeah, he worked hard. Yeah, I can't, I, again, like I said, I can't imagine doing what he did. It's, there's no way. Without the DM. And no, Amy no DMs. Answer, no Snapchat. <laughs> no, no, uh, no Snapchats, no DMs, no Facebook. No, not even a cell phone. There was... Couldn't poker on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I think this might have been a great thing for him. Yeah. So then what happened, just quickly, your, your mom, basically, they were talking to each other. Yeah. And then your mom kind of was like, yo, we can't do, we can't talk. Yeah. So the, 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 the juice of the story is they broke up, uh, like spent two months apart and they meet up at a coffee shop. Again, no Starbucks or nothing fancy. Yeah. Uh, probably have some cha or something like that. And then all of a sudden the big man decides to propose to her out of nowhere. He doesn't regard that they've been broken up, doesn't care what's going on. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to do this and this is how I'm going to do it. So you got to give a man the respect, but. I, I still couldn't do it to this he day. Did, yeah. <laughs> no way. Context. So that happened. And then you were telling me about how let's go, go towards after the Iranian yeah. revolution. Yeah. And your mom and dad are together. You ha They have your, your other brothers yeah. born. Yeah. And then what happened? They they, they moved here. Uh, so they tried living in Germany. Uh, my mom wanted to move here. So mm -hmm. uh, my, my dad moved here with the family. Um, he tried his best he learned english from a newspaper which i st still don't really fully understand because i've tried to learn spanish and i can't even do it with an app let yeah. alone learning from a newspaper yeah um but he grunt you know he he worked he hustled he he got some money together he opened you know his own shoe repair and all that kind of stuff so he grinded he hustled and we didn't we weren't always you know that privileged to have everything but he he did what he could with the best that he could with what he had what so, about your mom what was it like for her it was tough. She she put a lot of her stuff aside for us, and um, like a good mom, she reminds us a lot about that all, all the time, right? All the time, right? So we're you don't know what I've done. For <laughs> no, you. Like, no. Yeah, I don't know, ma. No, I'm not a I'm not a parent. Yeah. I'm, and I'm I'm okay with that for now. But she her sacrifices that she made goes a long way. I always say that whatever empathy and care that I have is from her. Mm -hmm. um, she was always around. She taught us what's right, what's wrong, how do we treat people you know, how to be nice, all these different things that, you know, the mum and nurturing and all that. So it's really balanced, well, not really balanced, but it was like, you know, the tough, strict, 
uh, oil rig. Did she dad. beat you down? Did your mom beat yeah. you down, or was she the one that was like, well, after your dad beat you down? No, oh, they're both so good at it. Oh. Uh, you know, mom and dad, that one, that one two There's punch one, yeah, is yeah. so good when they, when they want to, but. When it, when it all was, you know, when they wanted to be positive and supportive, my mom was usually that person. And even till this day, now it's the decision that I, last week I made a decision. She was very supportive and uh, my dad's still coming around yeah. to it kind of thing. So we also talked about just quickly yeah. how your mom, um, even my mom, when yeah. they, they moved here. Um, they're always self-conscious of their English. Oh my God. Yeah. So and what was that like? Well, it's tough because we like... One part we didn't talk about was like I learned French, English, Farsi at the same time. That's crazy. So like going home and I just want to conversate with my mom. I don't want to teach her anything. I don't yeah. want. To, but she was like, you know, talk to me in English. Talk to me in English. Talk to me in English. And so we would try, and it was weird because she would be talking to us in Farsi, and maybe I'm not just not that smart, but I just couldn't compute. And I'm like, okay, I gotta talk to you in Farsi. Yeah. This is just how it's gonna be. So <laughs> we tried. We put our best foot forward, and by by us, I mean my little brother and I. We offered, like, you know, you want to go to a class? No, I don't want to be. There's too many people there. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Fair enough. You got social anxiety. I get that. You know, there's this, there's that, or whatever. And eventually, she's landed on YouTube. And I mean, God who isn't on YouTube? YouTube God days, bless so. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So that's crazy. That's right. Yeah. And then we, to end off even the video, you were telling me about how you decided to play basketball. Yeah. Right? That was, I mean, I've told my story itself this story a hundred times, but it's even now saying it out loud. It's weird that I snuck out for my grade nine tryout yeah. or tree out or whatever, you know? And it was weird because like, I'm going to my friend's house and you come back with a sprained wrist. You can't, you know. My I, friend hit me. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, what, yeah, what did you say? Like, you, don't, you don't. There's not much. And I'm not, I'm not a very good liar even to this day. So I just, I told them they were a little bit shocked. Uh, next day I go back to another tryout and I tell them I didn't make it and they were relieved. You know? Thank God. Yeah, right? Oh, just, okay, now you can concentrate on your school. Yeah. Well, a few years later, they weren't saying that. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, when you started racking up some trophies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, we're so proud of our own video. Oh, look yeah. at him. That's, man, that's, that goes hand in hand, like, with that immigrant experience. You said something powerful. You said a lot of powerful things. But in the podcast, you said that it was, like, they had their own idea of what like success was in a sense 100 percent, right and what was what was their idea of success this is the same conversation that we have now right when by now i mean I, i'm privileged i get to work with kids and yeah. they're still in the middle eastern culture and you hear it till this day it's doctor you know, i mean we can all say it together right doctor, doctor. architect or lawyer oh, ar you got that architect i think i mean i'm just throwing that in there like engineer and lawyer the engineer sorry you're, you're right you're right, right. Yeah. let's say that again i don't I even like, know architect, i was like damn man, your parents <laughs> was nice they're lenient okay sorry you're right engineer lawyer or yeah. doctor and I, I've just been, I was always one of those kids that had no idea what he wanted to do. So it's like every uh, yeah, right. And uh, I mean, I still don't know what I want to do, yeah. but it's, yeah, I knew I could bounce a ball. I knew I could, I had good vision and I knew I could work my butt off. That's all I knew. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. And after they were relieved, um, I went back and asked them for another chance. I was like, just let me be on the team. Let me practice. Uh, I don't really care if I play or not. I just want a chance. And yeah. let's just say that relief turned into distress and their whole worry about school and everything else came right after that. But yeah. it's been since that age where I've had to make my own decisions and try to motivate myself to do things. That's huge, man. Yeah. Well, to end off the episode, um, check out the full podcast because we dive into all this yeah. much deeper. Yes. Right. Just like where, how it all added up mm -hmm. that just, the, what it was like when you first went to Iran. Oh my God. How yeah. you, there was like a uh, Imam basically, uh, uh, that he got caught at the at the airport okay, with yeah. two bottles. Of, what was it? Vodka or yeah, something. Yeah, two bottles yeah, of vodka. Yeah. He got arrested right in front of Omid when no. he was 12. Some, some crazy stuff, man. <laughs> um, we talked about what it's like when you finally go back to your to your, like, your parents' uh, place of origin. Like yeah. you went to Iran for yeah. the first time. You're like, what the hell is going yeah. on? Your mom hit a guy. That's some yeah, crazy, yeah, crazy yeah. stuff. Might as well have been just like a small, you know, Canadian boy. Like you said, whatever that means. Yeah. And been there. It was the exact same experience. It was through that lens. What the and, hell is going it, on? Yeah. Here. Just wanted to survive. It was survival mode. It was just, you know, get through it and have fun and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And I honestly, till now, I had never actually had to relive that. I've. It's just been in the back of my brain. And I'm pretty surprised after four concussions, I can still remember that, but... It was a pretty interesting experience. Yeah, yeah. Stranger than fiction. Like, <laughs> a little bit. No, no, well, that's, that's the way I wanted to end off the, I guess, the episode. Check out the podcast again. Follow Omid on, what is your Instagram? Shmomid. Shmomid. Shmo yeah. we got, we got, we're going to have the tags below. <laughs> yeah. um, check out our YouTube videos. Subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Like us on uh, Instagram. There's going to be a crazy trip coming up at the end of March. Oh. So you're going to want to be a uh, part of that. So check us out on Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions... Holler at both of us. Holler at, especially if you understand that whole concept of being an immigrant 
child. It's it's not easy, no. right? You get very confused and confused. Very, yeah. Right, and that can lead to you were saying depression or confusion, conflict. There's a whole bunch of things that can happen because you're supposed to be this one person, but you end up being this totally other person that you couldn't even even imagined because you see yourself as Canadian. I'm domestic, whereas your parents are very much still immigrants, even though they're citizens and all that. So it's very conflicted. It's difficult, and um, it's it's my honor to be on the show and talk about this. I didn't think it was a big deal or anything, but now that we've talked about it, yeah, it seems like. You know what? Maybe there was a story there. Maybe there's it always a story. Man. Always. Yeah. I told yeah. you. I told I'm you. Very grateful to be here. Oh thank man! You. All right, then we're gonna say goodbye to everybody. All right, thank you. Stay tuned. Peace. Thank you for watching our videos. Your support really means a lot to us. Check out our podcast and and honestly check out the other conversations we've been having as well.